Welcome to our latest van build. This is van build number 25, and this is a really fun one with lots of new stuff that we've never done before, like a rooftop tent, a third seat that is actually removable, a built-in fridge freezer that is the biggest fridge we've ever put in a van. So let's go on in and we'll give you guys the full van tour. <laughs> This is a 2022 170 Mercedes Sprinter 4x4. It is a 2500 and this thing is fully loaded. We actually did a van compass suspension upgrade on this. So there's a two inch lift on top of the two inch factory lift that a four x four comes with. If you are new to our channel, my name's Sarah. My husband, Alex, is behind the camera right now. And we started custom crafted vans five years ago. We've been building out vans for clients for the last five years after we converted two vans for ourselves and traveled all over the US and Canada. So we've got lots of fun content on our channel, lots of van tours, because this is van build number 25, like I said. So let's hop inside and we'll show you around. So we do have a seating area right up front. The two front seats do swivel around. We have a lagoon mount table here, and then you'll see on the floor, there is another base. I might as well pull it out right now. Who am I kidding? So this is how this one works. It's a really easy system. You get a pole like this, tabletop mounts right on top of this. You stick this into the slot on the floor. If I line it up right, okay, there we go. There we go, we got this. Super easy, you just spin it till it tightens down, and then you put your tabletop on top. So though it's not a lagoon mount, which doesn't really have anything mounted in the floor, it's mounted on the wall. This one's actually really nice because it still does swivel. We'll get that out in a minute. Show you guys, but for filming's sake, I'm just gonna put this back. So this is kind of their hangout lounge, eat, play games. That was one of the things they mentioned they wanted to do in this van was have a game space. And we did the two smaller tables so that again, you have different kind of functionality here. If you just have two people, you can just use this area. If you have a third, then you put the other table in, but we wanted that on a removable base so that we could keep this sliding door area open. We still have a lot of storage up here. We have the headliner shelf, which is a great place to store your extra table and table leg. We have all of our window covers up here, which is again, a great place to store these because they're soft. It's not something that's gonna come flying out and hit you. These window covers are by our good friend and van lifer, Scott, and the wonderful, of course, I pull out the back door one, so I can't show you guys how these work, but they fold up super small, as you can see, come with a little Velcro strap, and these are for the back doors. So the pattern goes on the inside, black on the outside, they magnetize right to the van itself. And then again, when you're done, you just quickly fold them up and put them away. So we'll leave a link down below for this company. He has these in stock. We also have a small upper cabinet here above the extra bench seat. Now I didn't even talk about the seats. These are Shielman seats, Shielman, I guess is the way you say it. These are brown leather seats that were custom made in Germany. Gorgeous, love them so beautiful and so comfortable the front two have heated seats and armrests on both sides this this one also has an armrest on both sides i absolutely love the cream stitching on these and then this seat is actually removable we installed it on a l track with the rre global base so you can actually take this whole seat out if you wanted to pretty cool I think that's enough talk about this front area. <laughs> now let's talk about this gorgeous kitchen. There's a lot in here. We do have a microwave in this kitchen as well as an induction cooktop stove. She has a farmhouse style sink and then just lots of storage in here. A beautiful tile backsplash that kind of ties in the blue gray color of the van with the white oak finishes throughout. And can we just talk about how gorgeous these white oak upper cabinets are with the shaker style fronts. We also have, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the biggest fridge freezer we've ever put into a van. It is a 195 liter isotherm fridge freezer. So up top is the fridge, down below is the freezer. It is massive. They can eat ice cream wherever they are, BLM land, off-road, wherever they feel like it. They're gonna have fully loaded fridge, lots of fun snacks and treats. Now we have our standard wet bath. So this is a shower and toilet combined into one little room. 
which we have a video coming out talking all about, is it really worth it to put a bathroom in your van? I would say the majority of our clients say yes, it is definitely worth it. They don't regret taking up the space. For this bathroom, we use the Nautilus self-cleaning retractable door. We did a custom white oak ceiling in there to tie in with all the white oak details throughout. And then we use the Palisades vinyl wall tile in the Carrera marble, gorgeous. Clients, again, love that option for finishing out their bathroom. Kind of gives it the tile look without all the extra added weight. We have our shower up top and then our separate urine diverting toilet. Toilet goes to a five gallon holding tank underneath the van. Shower goes to a different tank, a 15 gallon gray water tank underneath the van. And then the sink has an 11 gallon gray water tank. So they're all on their own systems. Nothing is shared here. You don't really want your sink water going and combining with your toilet water because then you'd have weird smells coming up out of there. We do also have a pee trap on it. And then if you want to go number two, you put a baggie in the back, do your business, throw it away. All in all, gorgeous bathroom, functional, beautiful, love it. Now we have our bed area. We don't have the convertible space back here. We just have a full-time bed. They will obviously put sheets on here. We did make this in two mattresses so that it's easier to access the plumbing and electrical that's down here if service work needs to be done. And I mean, then they can each sleep on their own little mattress. And I'm pretty short. I'm 5'6". I'm not pretty short. I'm decently tall. And I mean, I could sleep like this, but I don't really sleep like that. I sleep like this. So this would be perfect for me. <laughs> and then they have this giant TV back here, which is awesome. They can lounge and watch TV in bed. It is on a swivel mount, so you can kind of collapse it up against the wall if you wanted to. Upper cabinet storage back here which is great to have even more storage. And then one thing I haven't me mentioned yet, and I'm sure Alex will go into, is the sound system. So we do have two speakers on the ceiling here and in the front, and then the two in the back. Their TV can hook up to that, so it's like surround sound. So it's pretty cool for your van. And then you can see here the isotherm. We have our control panel for electrical up here. A little bit of storage underneath the bed that is accessible from inside the van. Love these white oak window frames. I think it looks so pretty and it will hold up great over time. Alex and I will sit down at the end and chat about design stuff, favorite things of the van. You guys care about that kind of thing. So now Alex will get into all the tech specs. I'm gonna do my best not to forget anything because we put a ton of stuff on the outside of this van. So let's start here at the front. One of the things that our clients love that we do on our vans is what we call our rust prevention treatment. So we do a truck bed spray that's a color match on the roof after we've cut in like the AC unit and the vent fan. And then we also do a rust prevention treatment on the bottom. So we have all the panels removed. We spray all the plastic panels with the truck bed spray. And then we also spray behind the panels all the way down to the bottom. Gives it a really nice aggressive look. And as you can see on this one, we also did the grill and the front bumper. And if you look at the bumper, we also added the CA tuned off-road bumper with the Wern Wind. Really nice aggressive look. These clients are planning on going out into BLM land and four x four roads with friends. They want to make sure that they've got a way they can get out if they get stuck or someone else gets stuck. Then if we come around to the passenger side. One of the first things you'll notice is this beautiful 11 foot Dometic powered awning. So this thing is great because unlike a lot of the, man the hand crank awnings that have the vertical legs that come down to the ground, this one is super easy to take out and put back, which means you're probably gonna use it more. and just looks really great on this vehicle. We also added the Illumines Nerf bars, which are their full running boards on both sides. Again, nice aggressive look. We upgraded the tires. We added the Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires. They had purchased this vehicle with the matte black Mercedes steel wheels. We kept those on. Love the way this looks, the black on the bottom, black up top with the Illumines roof rack. You'll also see that we added some rigid lights all the way around the vehicle. There's a 30 inch light bar on the front. Sarah did mention we beefed up the suspension. We added the Striker two inch lift kit from Van Compass. And then we beefed up the rear leaf spring with the 6,000 pound rear leaf spring. Aftermarket Falcon adjustable shocks on the front and the back. More Illumines gear on the back. They do plan on taking their bikes with them. So we added the rear door carrier on the passenger side with the two one-up bike trays. On the driver's side, we added a second ladder to access their pop top rooftop tent. So this is a really cool rooftop tent that they have from a brand called Auto Home. 
What's really cool about it is it only has one latch that you need to release for the tent to pop up. It's on gas powered struts. And then the same thing when you bring it back down again, you can be standing at the rear, pulling a cord, all of the, the canvas from the tent goes inside. You can drop the clamshell down, latch it with the one latch. So with we've got two ladders here, because on the driver's side, we also have another Illumines rooftop ladder. What's cool is this ladder is easier to get up at the back to open the pop top tent. And then the side ladder, when the pop top tent is up, is in the perfect position to get up and get into the tent and back out of the tent because the door is right there. So that's why we have two of these on this vehicle. Coming around to the driver's side, we've got that Illumines ladder and the surf pole. So we've got two sets of surf hooks so they can carry their surfboards, stand up paddle boards, whatever they need for the adventures they are going on. One cool thing that we did on this van, this is the first van that we have done the Starlink install. So it does have the Starlink mobile RV mounted on the roof rack. So they have the Starlink. They have a TV that is a smart TV so they could literally be watching Netflix from wherever they are, which is pretty cool. All in all, the outside, this thing is built for adventure. Love the way it came together. So in the back, once you open these two back doors, we've got a few features that they requested. Beautiful white oak slat detail that Sarah did. Love it, looks great. This is one of the things Sarah takes control of and she's gotten so good at it. Just wanna call her out and give her credit. Um, you open this little storage area in the back, Lots of room to put your camping chairs, uh, you know, outdoor cook stove, whatever you want to put in here. They can access their fill for their water tank through this hatch right here. Talked about that in pretty much every van tour we've ever done. Um, and then they do have an outdoor shower right here with hot and cold water. Hose for that is right here. Um, and so we do have 810 amp hours of lithium battery. It's three Battleborn GC3s that are stacked and bolted together in the back of this van, a 33 gallon fresh water tank, a two and a half gallon water heater, a 3000 watt inverter, 60 amps of alternator charging. They did opt for no solar on this vehicle because of the rooftop tent, but here in the back, in the bumper, we have a port where they can connect, you know, like their Goal Zero or their Yeti um, regulated solar panels. So they can actually charge their system if they're out boondocking, they can charge it through solar. They also have a shore power plug, which is located underneath the van right over here in this corner. Uh, so lots of fun stuff, lots of power, because as we talked about, they have a lot going on inside. They have the massive fridge freezer, the TV, the microwave. Um, so we wanted to make sure they'd have plenty of power to power all that stuff wherever they are. Now let's go inside and we'll show you the control panel and how they actually make this whole system operate. So like Sarah said, in a 170 with everything we were adding, we needed every inch to count. So at the top of this fridge freezer stack, we have this little compartment and this is where the brains live. There's Serbo GX and there's Serbo touchscreen. Uh, these are also the switches for their gray water tank, ball valves to open and drain these, a switch to power the awning. Um, and then this is the Sonos amp and receiver. So this is a Bluetooth that you can uh, use to connect to the speaker system that we added in here. Uh, it sounds really great. Uh, really cool system and never implemented that in a van before, but it is pretty fun. And then you've got their Serbo touchscreen control unit. So you've got their tank sensors right here for their freshwater tank and all their gray waters. Um, control for the inverter to turn that on and off and lots of other cool functionality that is all tucked into a really small little section of the upper cabinet. So that's how they power that's how well that's how the whole system kind of works together and they get all their readings and how they control their inverter now sarah and i are going to sit down and give you guys our thoughts on this build probably your favorite part of the whole tour so i cannot believe this is van build number 25 already how does that feel 25 feels vans. good yeah feels good this one's ready to be done <laughs> Put a lot of work into this one this one was i think maybe the most custom van we've ever done but the mm. most features, the most things in this. It's up there. It's like tied. Tied with, with the with other Mackie. one. Yeah. 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 Band it's... build number like 19 or something. Yeah. 18. I don't know. There's a lot going on. Um, yeah. There's just a lot in here in a smaller space because this is a 170. I think there's more though because we did the Shieldman. Well, I guess that one we did the Shieldman seats too, but we have the third seat <laughs> yeah. with the L-Track. Yeah. Third, th third seat removable. One thing we didn't mention actually in this van, the flooring is the lawn seal marine grade flooring in this van. Mm -hmm. So we did that because of the L track also to save a little. <coughs> Ooh, 
sorry, coughing fit. Also to save a little bit of weight and then it makes it easy when you like do the flush mount, um, table mount thing. Yeah, am I missing any reasons? No, that was about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your favorite feature of this fan, Alex? Probably gonna be yours. What? The sound system. No. <laughs> That's not yours, I know. <laughs> I do like the sound system, sounds great. Um, and it's all the white oak finishes. I love the white oak. And then she picked a really nice blue for the kitchen. And then that ties in with the backsplash. Yeah, I think the finishes. The design turned out great. The well finishes done. turned out really well. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things working with clients is when they kind of give us some like direction on what they like, but then really value our opinion and our advice. So with the tile, we typically leave that open-ended until toward the end. And I found that tile, it's actually from Bedrosians and I really like it. I gave her a few options and then she chose, but kind of based on the style she gave me, I went out and found it. And I feel like it turned out really well because it's a little rustic. It ties in the blue gray from the outside with the white oak cabinetry because it kind of has like a little bit of brown in it. And I just think that that turned out really well. Yeah. I do like the tile. It's just a really cool van. Yeah, overall, and one of, this is such a small thing, but one of my things that I love are the small details, and I absolutely love the little vent above the microwave. We did a little gold like screen on the back of a frame and put that in. Of course, you need venting for functionality, but then to make it pretty, I just love little details like that. And then for me, because you didn't even ask, <laughs> my favorite feature. What was your favorite part? <laughs> you know, I have two things. Number one are these seats, because uh -huh. they are... So I don't know actually if that's number one. They're both tied, but the seats, because not only are they gorgeous, they're so comfortable and just like amazing, like touching them, they're amazing. <laughs> and they are so pretty with like the white stitching. I don't know what it is for me about like brown leather or tan leather with white like cream stitching. I just love that. Which this is two vans in a row with the same seats. Yeah, I just, oh, these no, are my wait. favorite. Yeah, two in a row. And I think sometimes it's tough to do the brown leather when you're doing um, wood detail, but because white oak is a lighter wood, I think it just really works. Like if we would have done dark wood everywhere and then these, I don't know if it would have gone as well. And I think with the blue gray color of the outside of the van, this color looks so good. Yeah. My second thing is the white oak. I love white oak. It's such a pretty wood. All we did in this van was clear coat it. We didn't have to stain it or treat it in any sort of way. We just clear coated it so that it will last for a nice long time. It's so pretty. It doesn't need anything. Yeah. I love that so much. Yeah, just, the white oak shakers. Shaker with the boards. gold too, actually, it kind of just, it doesn't take away from the white oak, which I love. It like just goes with it. You know, it doesn't like pop out from the white oak, kind of just like blends in and lets the white oak shine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that. Let your white oak shine. <laughs> And I love the beveled shaker fronts and actually in a van, uh, number one, having just like clear coated or stained wood cabinetry, you won't get as much smudging and um, scuffing as painted cabinetry. So I love when clients choose that just from a durability standpoint. So I think that's it net for now. Anything yeah. else you have to say? No, no, beautiful build. Thanks to our amazing clients. This was a really fun yeah. one. They brought us a challenge and really worked with us I love it so to uh, to they made quick decisions which is great yeah so thank you for watching again we have more van tours coming out soon we are also creating fun content about different topics for you so if there's a topic that you would love to see us create a video about on our channel please leave it in the comments down below if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed please do because uh, we love when you guys come back and yeah. keep watching our videos totally and we'll have a blog post linked down below with details about this van, more pictures, um, links to stuff we use. So be sure to check that out. If you're looking for like where they get that microwave, it'll be on the blog post. So, uh, I think that's it. That is it. 25. High five. <laughs> on to the next. All right. We'll see you guys next time.